Mr. and Mrs. William Beatroff. Petrie. Uh, oh, I'll never get that straight. Suppose I just call you uh, Bill. Uh, Rob. <laughs> Bill and Rob, that's so much easier, of course. <laughs> Bill and Rob, this is Yale Sampson. Yale is one of our budding English anti... Existentialist. Lovely. <laughs> uh, my Mrs. Uh, Venetia Fellows, uh, uh, Bill and Rob Petroff. Bill? Rob. Rob? Laura. <laughs> Venetia! You do. <laughs> well, I'm going to leave you two now, and I'm sure that Yale and Mrs. Fellows will take care of you. I, I hope we didn't uh, disturb your discussion. Oh, no, not at all. Yale just finished making a point about the state of American culture. Oh, did he? Uh, I assume you're familiar with Yale's stand on culture in our times? Well, no, no as a matter of fact, well, I'm not. What, what, what is his stand? Uh, actually, that's not a, uh, I would say that it's my uh, philosophy. You could call it philosophy, but it's not exactly philosophy. It's actually, <laughs> I want to say it simply to my proposition. My proposition, succinctly stated, the tersely stated, is that there is, there is a plethora of the mundane. A blither and mundane, which is inculcating itself and sweeping into the tension of conformity, which is naturally making it an orgasmic and a liberality, which is forming what I would say definitely that this osmotic process is a capillary infusion of the brain, which is, I call the civilization. You understand, the civilization, these processes are sort of deleteriously coming in, so therefore the osmotic process in the brain will atrophy. Someday, when they will have the brain of the balls, they will be nothing more, nothing more than a vestige of me. Surely you can see that. Well, I. <laughs> Uh, I, 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 well, you uh, certainly couldn't disagree. No, I, I don't disagree with, uh, with that, uh, I, except maybe on a couple of points there. <laughs> Which ones are those, Bill? It's Rob. Uh, yes, I know. I met your lovely wife. <laughs> what do you think, Rob? Well, I, I've always felt that people are individuals. Well, that's absolutely true, Rob, darling. But it is as individuals. <laughs> that these osmotic processes are most subtly deleterious. They cut away at the thought of abundance of life, which we don't understand because we throw it so. Individually and collectively, collectively, we are vulnerable because individually we are vulnerable. Vulnerability, collectability, possibility, portability, cognitive, pantonance, petonance, crawfordness, penetratability, ostinance, ostentation, etc., 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 et and infinitum, ad libitum, ad nauseum. Surely you can see the danger. Well. <laughs> Uh, as clearly as you as you do, uh, uh, Mr. Harvard. Uh, uh, yeah, Yale. Yeah. <laughs> I, I, I do see a, a danger. Yes. What can one man do? Yes, or one woman. We can spread the word. <laughs> uh, what, what what word is that? <laughs> very similitude. Very very similitude. That's a good word to spread. <laughs> <laughs> to spread, sir. To stamp out. Well, I mean, that's what I meant. You spread it and stamp it out. <laughs> <laughs> Tell you how, how about let's have some punch.